Hello, Nick here from Technovo and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm looking at this. It's the Edifier D12 Bluetooth speaker and I've really been enjoying it. Let's take a look. Straight out of the box, Edifier means business. This thing is rather large and is far from your typical Bluetooth speakers, your Echoes, your Google Homes, etc. Size-wise, it's pretty chunky and comes in at 36 centimeters long, 18 deep, 16 high. So bear that in mind when you're looking for a location for it. As for appearance, a wooden constructed box with wood grain print to the left and right sides of the box with a faux leather black finish to the top, bottom and rear. At the bottom, there are four small feet that sit the speaker proud off of your surface by a few millimeters. To the front, a large gray black mesh grill with some subtle branding, which if you wanted to, can be removed to showcase the components behind. Now, usually I'd say, take that grill off straight away because I prefer to see the drivers pumping away while in use. However, remove the grill here and it's very busy. There are two four inch base drivers, two 19 mil silk dome tweeters, two base ports, an infrared sensor, then finish it all off with four holes that hold the grill in place. I'm undecided. I think I prefer the sleek, clean look with the grill on, but what do you guys think? Grill on, grill off? Let me know in the comments below. To the top right of the speaker are the controls, three rotary knobs, bass, treble, and volume or source. Bass and treble sit at neutral or zero as default, then increase, decrease to suit. The volume button is a continuous rotary knob with push as an option. So twist for volume control, push down to switch between the sources. Fear not, there is a remote control included too, which makes things a little bit easier. The remote is very lightweight, glossy black plastic, so it does show fingerprints very easily. The remote includes on off, content control and volume mute sources being aux in, RCA and Bluetooth, and then EQ options for both video and audio. The remote is very lightweight, made from plastic, but it's a good size, it's easy to use and works well with the speaker. There is no bass or treble control with the remote, which remains a manual setting only. So how do you know what source you're on? Well, it's not ideal, but there is a small indicator light on the front that will go blue or green, which indicates which source you're on. It's not great. A screen would have been better, but it's functional and you'll get used to it. I mentioned sources briefly earlier, and if you haven't worked it out, Bluetooth 5.0, RCA and AUX are available. There is also a line out option if you wanted to add a subwoofer or another speaker. Total RWS output for the speaker is 70 watts. As for audio performance and taking into account that this retails at less than hundred pounds, it's fantastic. The D12 offers a fairly flat sound profile out of the box, but as you're able to adjust the treble and bass to suit your listening type or the genre of music you're listening to, you can achieve some great things. Bass will be plentiful, stick it at plus minus zero, and it will be okay for most songs, but stick on some R&B or bass heavy tracks, crank the knob slightly, and you will get a punchy rumble from the two four inch drivers. The tweeters keep up, with the bass if you want more treble as well. Volume wise, very loud, easily capable of filling any room in my house with music. And I'm pleased to say the quality remains at the higher volumes too. I listen to a variety of music, everything from the Lion Guard soundtrack, which my kids are loving right now, through to some Luke Combs and then NSYNC. Don't judge me, I set this up in the kitchen so everyone has been using it. However, everything sounded fantastic and I kept thinking back to myself, this is a 99 pound speaker, this is impressive. Remember I mentioned the remote had a film button on it? Well, I did manage to plug this into my TV eventually, although it's limited, there is no optical in or HDMI arc, so you're tied into AUX or RCA, which is very old school now. However, I stuck a movie on via Netflix and it was actually pretty good considering. Plenty of bass for explosions and dialogue could be heard very well too. Far better than the onboard speakers on the TV, but I probably wouldn't swap this for my soundbar. So to summarize, the Edify D12 is a great all-round Bluetooth speaker. It may not be for everyone, it's big, it's not possible at all, and some of you may not be keen on the natural wood look. However, 
for everyone else, this is well worth £99 and sounds like a much more expensive speaker. That is a wrap on this video. If you have stuck around until the end, then thank you very much. And if you want to see more videos from us, hit that subscribe button and all our future videos will pop up in your feed.